This is Miss Finn from the Literacy Lab. Today I will be reading, My Name is Not Isabella, Just How Big Can a Little Girl Dream? by Jennifer Fosbury, illustrated by Mike Litwin. Good morning, Isabella, the mother said. It's time to get up and out of bed. My name is not Isabella, said the little girl. Then who has been sleeping in my daughter's bed? asked the mother. I am Sally, the greatest, toughest astronaut who ever was. Well, Sally, blast out of bed, put on your spacesuit, and come downstairs for breakfast. Good morning, Sally, the mother said. It's time for breakfast. Pull up a chair. My name is not Sally, said the little girl. Then who will eat this fine breakfast I cooked? asked the mother. I am Annie, the greatest, fastest sharpshooter who ever was. Well, Annie, ride on over here and eat up. These are some fine vittles, and every cowgirl needs a proper meal. Okay, Annie, the mother said. It's time for school. My name is not Annie, said the little girl. Then who will go outside and wait for the bus? asked the mother. I am Rosa the greatest, bravest activist who ever was. Well, Rosa, march out there and take your seat on the bus. Welcome home, Rosa, the mother said. Did you have a nice day at school? My name is not Rosa, said the little girl. Then who will eat these cookies I made while she does her homework? asked the mother. I am Marie the greatest, smartest scientist who ever was. Well, Marie, sit down and discover the answers to your homework, and I will get the cookies. Time for dinner, Marie, the mother said. Come help me set the table. My name is not Marie, said the little girl. Then who will help me set out the dishes for our fine meal, asked the mother. I am Elizabeth the greatest, kindest doctor who ever was. Well, Elizabeth, have patience with your mother and use the nice plates, please. It's almost bedtime, Elizabeth, the mother said. Come upstairs and take your bath. My name is not Elizabeth, said the little girl. Then who will relax in this nice hot bath I have drawn, asked the mother. I am Mommy, the greatest, sweetest mother who ever was. Well, Mommy, get in the bathtub. I hope you love the bubbles. When the little girl climbed into bed, the mother said, Good night, Mommy. My name is not Mommy, said the little girl. Then who will be sleeping in my daughter's bed tonight? asked the mother. It's me, Isabella. The sweetest, kindest, smartest, bravest, fastest, toughest, greatest girl that ever was, said the little girl as she fell asleep and dreamed about who she would be tomorrow. The end. Let's learn a little bit about women who changed the world. Sally Ride was the first woman from the United States to travel to space. An astronaut is a person who does their work in space. There are different jobs on the spacecraft. Some people are pilots, some people fix the spacecraft, and some people do science research. On June 18, 1983, Sally Ride flew on the space shuttle Challenger. Her job was to test a robot arm. Annie Oakley was one of the first women superstars. A sharpshooter is a person who can shoot a gun and hit a target many times and very accurately. Rosa Parks was a civil rights activist. An activist is a person who fights for what they believe through protest, teaching, speeches, and other means. Marie Curie was a scientist who first learned how radiation works. A scientist is a person who tries to understand and explain how things work. They may study animals, machines, or rocks.
Marie was the first woman awarded a Nobel Prize and the first woman to teach at the Sorbonne. Elizabeth Blackwell was the first woman to go to school to become a doctor. A doctor is a person who knows how the body works. They help people who are hurt or sick. Doctors try to keep people healthy. And mommy. Mommy was once a little girl with big imagination and big dreams. A mother is a person who uses love and wisdom to raise children to be caring, accomplished adults. I hope you enjoyed our story today.